professionals. Hi, my name's Emma Williamson. I am a career advisor for the National Career Service and I'm based out of St. Helens Chamber. Today I'll be giving you a short presentation on how to cope with redundancy and providing you with some useful hints and tips. So most workers in the UK will experience redundancy at least once throughout their careers. At St. Helens Chamber, we do have extensive experience of supporting individuals and employers through redundancies. Our fully qualified careers advisors have come up with some useful hints and tips to help guide you through the redundancy situation. There's no particular order in which this is going to be kind of presented um, as people will have different priorities. So in 2019, I was faced with a redundancy situation where I've been with a company for over eight years. So I do understand um, the mixture of emotions that people go through during a redundancy situation. And I'm hoping that these hints and tips can help support people going forward. So coping with redundancy. Number one, try not to panic. Uh, redundancy will likely come to, to a shock to most people. And many of you will be thinking, how am I going to pay my bills? How am I going to support my family? Um, you'll normally be given um, notice with regards to redundancy. So try not to make any sharp or snap decisions. Try and let things um, be processed first before you act on anything. Uh, there is a lot of advice and guidance around um, locally that will be able to support you going forward and I will provide more information on that as we go through the presentation. Number two, understand that people react differently. So for some colleagues, it may come as a, as a shock. Some people may be angry. Um, some people may be upset or scared. Some people may be panicking, but to some it may come to them as, as a, a, they're not really bothered about the situation. Try not to let that influence your decision making and try not to let that um, judge your own um, like reactions to certain situations. Uh, number three, don't be afraid to ask for help. There is lots of help available locally, ranging from mortgage support, uh, benefits uh, support. Make sure that you're asking friends and family, you know, is there any opportunities local for yourselves? Um, and St. Helens Chamber do have a range of support available that can help you back into employment. Number four, update your CV. So your CV is an important tool when it comes to uh, looking for job opportunities. And the more up to date it is, the more quicker you can react to um, opportunities that come your way. Uh, so following redundancy, just make sure that you have got a CV that's as up to date as possible. Uh, make sure that all the details on the CV are as up to date as can be. So if you've changed your address, you've changed your telephone number, make sure that that's all logged on, on the CV correctly. And for further information, National Career Services can provide some support with that. So please ask. Number five, uh, carefully consider your next steps. So do you want to continue within the sector that you've just come out of? Do you want a career change? Do you wish to go self-employed? And if so, what kind of ideas have you got in mind? What's most important to you? Is it job satisfaction? Is it uh, finances? So is it your salary? Or is it that work-life balance that you're looking for? Number six, consider the local market intelligence. So COVID has had a big impact on the jobs market. Some sectors are performing well, like manufacturing and logistics, IT is performing well, um, but then you've got other sectors such as retail and hospitality that are struggling. So we can help you to discover what jobs are available within your local area, uh, what jobs will give you long-term uh, sustainability, and a career advisor can help you with all of this. Number seven, if use your notice period wisely. If you've been given notice of redundancy, um, you may wish to 
upskill yourself. So you may wish to do some additional training. Um, this will have an impact on your CV because it'll enhance your CV and it'll also enhance your personal skills. Now, we can help you to apply for a rapid response scheme. Uh, so what this is, is it's open to anybody who's been made redundant within the UK who's in receipt of a, a redundancy letter, email, um, or some kind of correspondent to say that you, you're in that redundancy situation. Uh, you must register with National Career Service and the purpose of the Rapid Response Service is to provide um, some training for yourselves. Uh, now this training mustn't be free elsewhere um, and it can't be used for any career changes so it needs to be based on the job role that you've just come out of with your, your employer. You can use this as part of um, self-employment, but you will need a business plan to support this. And the turnaround for all this is within four weeks, you should have a decision from a decision maker as to whether or not the funding has been accepted uh, for the qualification of your choice. So for, for example, it could be that um, you've been working in the HR department and uh, you've got lots and lots of experience but you don't have any formal qualifications. So what we can do is we can support with an application to potentially look at getting you some SAGE training. Um, so that's one of the options that could be available for you. There are multiple training that we, we, can, we can request funding for. Um, you just need to, to register with National Careers and uh, we, we can make the next steps from there. Number eight, keep in touch with colleagues and uh, management. So word of mouth is a good way of finding out if there are any local opportunities available. Um, some of your colleagues may go into employment and if that is the case, they may be able to recommend you to their employer. Uh, so just try and keep in touch with uh, as many people as you can um, just to keep your options open. Plus you will need to go back to management within your employment for references. Number nine, don't think that your next job needs to be your forever job. So this can be tough to get your head around, especially if you've been within the same role for what, 10, 20, 30 years. Um, so you may need to take a less than ideal job as a, as a stop gap. And now there's nothing from stopping you from applying for your ideal job. Like I said, this is just a stop gap. This is a stepping stone job. Um, it's just something that's going to fund some finances coming through um, to, to, to maintain your, your, your independence. Uh, number 10, understand that you will bounce back. So redundancies is a very difficult time for, for a lot of people. Some people get a job straight away. For others, it may take a little bit longer. Okay. So who can help and who can support you? So you've got St. Helens Chamber and St. Helens Chambers contact details is uh, 01744698800 or you can contact them via email through www.sthelenschamber.com. You've also got National Career Service website and we can provide free and partial information, advice and guidance and we can recommend um, external organisations who we can refer out to for further support. You've also got ACAS, which provide HR support and guidance on employment law. You've got the Government Univers Universal Credit Scheme, which provides some financial support through the benefit system. You have Money Advice Service, uh, which provides advice and guidance around finances and debt support. And then you've got Citizens Advice Service, which provides free information, advice and guidance to help you with money, legal aspects and other problems. Thank you very much for your time today. Bye bye.